Yo, what's good, YouTube? Gabe with another fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Like the content of the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go over here and subscribe, man. Look, so took the day off yesterday, didn't talk about it, but we got to talk about that the Ravens still have a very, very specific and limited way of how they think you can win in the National Football League. And why do I say that, right? Uh, well, pretty much because of the Darius Slay news that came out on Sunday or Saturday, whatever it was, that he pretty much confirmed that the Baltimore Ravens were interested in signing him. Actually, for, actually, you know, we'll go one step further. The Ravens were going to sign him if the Eagles did cut Darius Slay. Now, I don't have an issue with the fact that the Ravens are interested in, in a corner like Darius Slay. He's Yes, he would have been 32 years old. He's a good player, things like that. But as a simple matter of the fact is that they will take the shot on defense, but they won't always take the shot on offense, right? They have to be able to sit back and realize where the game is going because the Ravens only respect one half of it. The Ravens respect the fact that you have to pass the ball in this league, so they'll go get your corners, they'll go get your safeties because they want to stop the pass. But they won't respect the pass on the other side of the ball that you need wide receivers on the outside to make plays against, you know, your Darius Slaves, just for an example, right? So... When I saw this report, I want to say that I was surprised or shocked or anything. I, I wasn't. It's it's what the Ravens have always been. And it's not just the constant thing. This is how they've been always. They've believed in defense and running the football. And we've seen that throughout Ravens history. We can look at pretty much any point in time, and those were the main facets of the Ravens, right? The Ravens haven't been willing to change that. They haven't been willing to uh, adapt that philosophy. They haven't been willing to, to, to make changes to it. Now, that comes from a couple places. Obviously, like I said, so it's at the top. So you got the Casa who's been here with Isaac Newsom. They believe that. You got John Harbaugh who says that um, after they gave it to Greg Roman that they're not looking to change the office completely, but just make little tweaks to it, right? So really what they mean is they're going to still try to run the ball heavily, but find ways to make the passing game more accessible to, I would assume, wide receivers, right? Which goes into their talk of revamping the wide receiver room this offseason, Okay. So the Ravens have a, they have a very, very distinct idea of who they want to be, but it doesn't always line up with what, where the NFL is going, okay? The Ravens have historically always wanted to be the team. If the NFL is going one way, they want to go the other way to try to create an advantage for themselves. And sometimes it hasn't worked. And to me, this is one of those iterations where it hasn't worked. The Ravens need to be able to say that we can commit to the wide receiver position as far as free agency as far as the draft um and as far as trades now they've done the draft portion of it they need to do the other ones and i don't mean signing guys like nelson Aguilar, because that falls in what the Ravens have done all time signing guys 30 plus third plus contract hoping that maybe um they can find something that they felt had a couple years ago like nelson Aguilar's last good year i believe was 2020 uh with the Va with the uh, las vegas raiders he had a really good year that year all right they're hoping he can refine that form. That's what the Ravens do. If you really want to be different, if you really want to make a change, that is, you know, going after your Odell Beckham. That is going after DeAndre Hopkins, however that may be. That's how you make a change in your philosophy. But sign us Aguilar, it's the same old, same old. Going after Darius Slay, knowing that you have a bigger need of wide receiver, it's the same old, same old, right? Nothing has really changed there. The fact is, the Ravens do need corners. Of course they do, right? But they have their priority list. And they have cornerbacks above pretty much almost any position on their team. Uh, the Ravens love cornerbacks. And wide receivers are still somewhere in that middle ground, maybe even closer to the bottom. And until the Ravens can figure that out and how they want to change it and not just say, hey, look, we're just going to draft guys and hope that they work out and actually get some proven talent, veteran talent here, we're going to have more of the same. That's just how it is. That's how it's going to be. Um, now, to the point of what I was saying, where the Ravens always try to, uh, you know, zig without people going the other way. When they when they got Lamar Jackson they, and they, quote unquote, built this offense for him, even though they didn't, they just dropped in Greg Roman, who, who was already running this offense with Tyrod Taylor, with Colin Kaepernick, on and on, right? They saw that the NFL had these linebackers in the game that were way too light. So they figured, okay, look. We're going to go heavy. The NFL team started putting uh, safeties at linebacker, you know, guys that was probably mm, 210, 220, instead of your traditional 250-pound linebackers, right? So the Ravens thought the advantage was let's get bigger, let's get stronger, let's maul people down the field, right? And this worked for 
They ended Lamar Jackson's rookie year 2018, and then the Chargers kind of, even with the speed, they, they put Chargers put more speed on the field. They said, forget it, we're not going to go the opposite direction. We're just going to lean into it. They put more speed on the field, stop the Ravens. And then 2019, they, they, they refined it. They added some passing elements to it. And then that's how you get the big boom in 2019, right? Ever since then, the Ravens have been chasing that season. And they refuse to believe that, hey, maybe we should try to do something differently. And 2021 is the only season where in the last, I would say, five years of this, of this hardball tenure, of this Lamar Jackson tenure, where the Ravens had a different identity and they were forced into it. Due to a myriad of injuries to the running back position, right? Due to the fact that they had to sign guys off the streets, your Devontae Freeman, your Latavius Marys, um, Le'Veon Bell, right? I, I had to think about that. Le'Veon Bell, okay? So they were forced into throwing the football. And this is when the Ravens had one of, I mean, people are going to say it's not impressive, but this is one of the better receiver courts Ravens have had in a while, all right? You had Hollywood Brown, you had Sammy Watkins, you had Ricky Rashad Bateman, okay? And you still had definitely on the team. That's one of the better receiving cores the Ravens have probably ever had, you know, for, for a long time. Okay. And they were forced into throwing the football and they did it pretty effectively. Even when Lamar Jackson got hurt and Tyler Huntley came in the game, he threw the ball decently. All right. So they showed that in 2021, they can do it. They choose not to do it. And we have to be aware of the distinct difference. All right. Um, it's not that they, they don't trust the guys to throw the football. Not that they don't respect wide receivers is that they choose their paths they've chosen this way we gotta remember what john harbaugh said hey if you want to catch passes here if you're all about your numbers uh maybe the ravens are not for you you don't say that to a position you respect you just don't so until the ravens can show that they are really committed to changing the pathways and one of those ways that they can show that this offseason is getting your deandre hopkins or getting your odell Beckham. Um, making a trade, you know, for Jerry, Judy, or Cortland Sutton. Listen, the Ravens can draft the first round wide receiver, and I still hope that they do, but that's not anything out of line, out of the ordinary for what Eric DaCosta already does. He drafts first round wide receivers. We've seen it already, okay? And I say he's drafted two pretty good ones. I like Hollywood, maybe more than some other, uh, other Ravens fans, but I like Hollywood. I like Rashad Bateman. He needs to stay on the field and stay healthy. If they get a third guy, he'll probably work out too, but they still need more talent around that. They still need that. So to the Ravens are willing to show that they have expanded their idea of how they can win in the National Football League. They're going to be a team that finishes, hey, you can get to the playoffs, but that might be your ceiling because you don't have those elite game changers on the outside. So maybe with Todd Munkin here, maybe with a guy that has that quality of getting wide receivers involved in the passing game, maybe that changes. But the Darius Slade news should surprise no Ravens fans because that's been a philosophy since they've started. They've updated and made a, a couple of tweaks, but at heart, the Ravens are still the same as they always been. Um, but so I'm going to get out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you stay to this point in the video, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button, man. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here. It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.